Welcome to this edition of In Transition. I'm Libra Johnson. In 1945, Art Linkletter's House Party premiered on CBS Radio. Seven years later, it made its television debut and became the longest-running daytime variety show, completing its run in 1969. So what made it so popular? Most would agree it was the Kids Say the Darndest Thing segment that sealed the deal. For more than 20 years, Linkletter interviewed nearly 23,000 5 to 10 year olds about everything under the sun. And guess what he discovered? That kids say the darndest things. So today, in the spirit of House Party, we're talking to kids to find out what they think about it all. We'll also hear from our parent panel and have our resident psychologist, Dr. Maia Coleman King, help us understand what we heard and discuss how we keep kids kids in these challenging times. But first, let's take a look at a clip from a classic Kids Say the Darndest Things moment. Roxanne Burns, what's your favorite Bible story? About the wine. Where? Where did it happen? When Jesus, when Jesus was born. When Jesus went where? At the wedding. At the wedding. What did he turn, what did he, how did he make the wine? With his power. Out of what did he make the wine? water. That's right. Now, when Jesus made the water into wine at the wedding, that's the story. What do we learn from that story? We learned the more wine we get, the better the wedding is. <laughs> Welcome to the show, our very own kid collective, Lewis, Brooke, Hoyt, Caitlin, Chelsea, and my co-host, Lizzie. Thank you all for being here today. I have to tell you, the clip that we just saw from the television show Kids Say the Darndest Things is one that I've been looking at for years. And I just laugh every time I see it because now I'm a parent and I realize how much we really do need to hear from you all about all the things that you're thinking about. So thank you for coming on the show today. We just wanted to dedicate an entire show to hearing from kids so that we'd have an idea as parents and as teachers and as people in your community, your coaches, what you're thinking about things. So let's just start here. I'm gonna start by having you say your name and tell me how old you are. My name is Elizabeth and I'm eight years old. Okay. My name is Chelsea and, and I'm five years old. Perfect. My name's Caitlin and I'm eight years old. Perfect. My name's Brick and I'm eight years old. Perfect. My name is Hoy and I'm six years old. Perfect. My name is Lewis and I'm eight years old. <laughs> Thank you, Lizzie, Chelsea, Caitlin, Hoyt, Brooke, and Lewis. Thank yeah, you so much um, for gracing us with your six, presence today. Six. Seven. seven. Perfect. So, you're all somewhere between kindergarten and third grade? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what I know for sure is you have a lot that you're thinking about, right? There's a lot on your mind. There's a lot that you're not missing in this busy world that we're in. So I want to cut right into some things that are happening right now in the world today and get your opinion because I'm considering you sort of our official kid panel to keep us posted about what you think adults are missing about key things happening in the world. So we'll start with Caitlin. The campaign is coming up. Who is our president? Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Do you plan to vote in November? No, <laughs> can't vote yet, right? If you could vote, do you have any thoughts about who you might vote for? Barack Obama. And why do you think you would vote for Barack Obama? Any thoughts that adults need to hear from kids about why voting for Barack Obama would be a good idea? Well, what do you think about the job he's doing? Do you think it's a very hard job? Do you think being the president is the hardest job in the world, or one of them? And do you have any advice for the president? Because I got to tell you, he might actually hear this, and he might want to use some of what you're sharing. Anything you think he should know about how to do his job better or how to make kids happier today? Anything at all. School lunches.